I think another little acronym as well is, is AIM, A-I-M, Access, Intent, Means. So do they have access to a weapon? Do they have intent on doing harm to you or others? And do they have the means of being able to do so? Um, so that's just another little acronym out there. And another thing, uh, how you were talking about uh, less lethal force. Um, you know, I'm in the same boat as you as far as law enforcement experience, stuff like that. Um, something that we went by is the use of force must be reasonable and immediately necessary at the time of the incident. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they said it used to be they said lawful, reasonable, and necessary. Mm -hmm. That's what we were taught in the academy. Uh, and so, you know, the, the people say, well, unfortunately, this this is the mode that most concealed carriers go through. They start out a little nervous and they think they need to get something. So what they'll do is they'll go to a store and they'll buy. Uh, a handheld electronic stun gun, which are horrible, by the way, don't do that. Uh, the, or mace, or pepper spray, or some gadget or device, and they start carrying that. And then they're like, mm, I really should have a gun. So they go through the process, they get a gun, they get a permit, if, you know, unless they live in a constitutional carry state, and they start carrying. And once they start carrying a gun, they're like, well, now that I've got a gun, I don't need all that other junk. I don't need pepper spray and tasers and stuff because I have a gun. And the gun solves all my problems. Well, the gun doesn't solve all your problems. What are you going to do about the annoying drunk in the Applebee's parking lot that keeps asking you for five bucks? You can whip out your Roscoe and say, get away from me. Uh, if his hands are empty and he's just being annoying and you do that, you're going to be the bad guy. Yep. Uh, what are you going to do about the lady who jumps out of her car and screams that you just stole her parking spot and smacking the window of your car and telling you you're a son of a bitch. You're going to shoot her? Uh, you're like, well, I'll just, whatever. Well, th these people won't be ignored. You have to do something. You know, people like, well, I'll just walk away. I'll just turn my back on them. I would say turning your back on someone who's, uh, you know, aggressive towards you is probably the not the smartest thing to do. I'm going to go ahead and tell you that it is not smart to do. So what do you do when somebody won't be ignored, uh, but you can't shoot them? You say, well, I'm a tough guy. I'm going to fisticuff with them or what have you. Okay, that's great. Rock on. But uh, if you get into fisticuffs or wrestling matches with people, what do you have attached to your body? Mm -hmm. A gun. And what is happening with that gun while you're rolling around on the Walmart floor with that person? Yeah, is the gun secure? Is it going to come out? Is it going to go bang when it's not supposed to go bang? Uh, if you have to, I mean, I'm not saying you shouldn't, you know, use force if you need to use force, but what I'm saying to you is before you walk out of your door, you might want to have an alternate plan in mind other than just, well, I'm either going to shoot them or I'm going to wrestle them to the ground. Uh, that's not always the best plan. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Now, what do you think are some options for less, le less lethal carry, and like, wh what would you say is the best option? A number one, pepper spray, um, with a caveat, asterisk. Uh, if you're going to buy your pepper spray off of the spindly rack at the, 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 the stop and rob or the quickie place or whatever, then don't bother because it's garbage. Uh, it's it's garbage because the people that make it know that there's like only a 1% chance that you're ever actually going to use it. Most of the time it's going to be in the bottom of a purse or a glove compartment or something. Uh, if you're serious and you want to use a pepper spray or an OC product in the, in the police world, we call it oleoresin capsicum or OC, but the street name's pepper spray. Go to either, either go to Amazon and buy it there or go to, if you have a local police supply store near you, uh, go there and you, the, the, the easiest way is just find out what the local cops are carrying yeah. and get that. Oh, but the, the, there's, and, and the reason I say this is because a lot of the, these little spindle rack keychain things, it's garbage, it's junk. Uh, it doesn't have enough capacity to really do its job. Right. And women will buy these things, they'll stick them in their pockets and think that, that they now have this, this tool to save themselves. And, you might as well just put a roll of pennies in your pocket. <laughs> yeah, uh, I, I think, you know, if you guys are out there looking for uh, some OC or some pepper spray, I think a really good brand that I know our law enforcement uses is uh, it's called Saber Red. I don't know if you're able to actually get a hold of it, um, but I know I know whenever I went through the academy, that's what that's what they used on me. And uh, it sucked pretty bad. Fox, F-O-X. That one too. That one as well. Yeah. Uh, Fox pepper spray um, is the fishizzle, 
and so is uh, Guardian makes a really good product too. You say Saber, and I chuckle because you know 20 years ago Saber was making this mace product knockoff thing, and it was just it was just a joke. Mm -hmm. But I think they've kind of gotten their their stuff together with the the red. Oh. I haven't experienced it myself. I've experienced a lot of pepper spray. Oh, I've been, I've been teaching people to use it since '95, so ooh, that would be 20 years. Uh, I, I've sprayed literally hundreds of people with various products, and uh, I can tell you this: that the the Fox product. Now, the the big caveat with with pepper spray products is most of your state legislators uh, don't have a clue what they're talking about, so they'll do really stupid things like say, well. Uh, citizens can only have pepper spray that's this percentage, and and you know police officers can have this, but you you peasants can only have a two percent pepper spray or a five percent or whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, or you could be like in the Glorious People's Republic of New York, and you're forbidden to own anything. Uh, and if you defend yourself against a criminal, we'll arrest you. But if you live in free America, just just check the laws because like I said, Michigan is a uh, stands out in my mind as as being one of the that's where Fox OC started, and they started it because the Michigan legislature decided that you could only have two percent. You know, peasants are only allowed two percent. So the guys at Fox are like, okay, we'll make a two percent five million SHU uh, product, and call it good.